YouTube fam, welcome home. You with Tony CV 3.0. You already know, let's all be great. You feel me? So the first thing I need to ask y'all is that please, please, please hit that subscribe button. Also, go ahead and hit that like button because I, like I told you last time, it's only a couple centimeters away. You feel me? Like, like that much. Hit that now. All right, now that we got that out the way, I got some hot new J's for y'all to check out. As most of y'all know who rock Jordans a lot, y'all obviously know what's in the box. We got Jordan 11's, platinum tint. Let's get the box open. All right, straight to it. Open up the lid. It's pretty plain. Jordan, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not happy with that. I don't know why would you get this plain ass box with these shoes that people say it's supposed to be like the number one Jordans or something like that. It's the 11's, right? Shoot me if I'm wrong. Love me if I'm not. Anyways, here we go. Here we go. There we go, right there. Platinum tint. They should have called it cereal milk. You did, cause I mean, that's 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 what it looked like. It looked like cereal milk, don't it? Check them out. 360 view, real fast. There we go. Boom. I swear, these don't look like a used bowl of cereal milk. I don't know. Anyways, let's get to the detail of the shoe. We got the outer sole right here. It got a. It got a. I want to call this two percent. This 2% milk right here on the outer so I'll I tell you why in a second. On the grips, you got these white panels on the grip. You got the red jump man through the see-through right there. Also, you got this carbon fiber plate. Then you got a white midsole. It's this part right here. White midsole. And see, this this one I call this the 2% milk, because this is this is the whole milk right here. This that this that whole cereal milk right here. This that this that stuff that you ain't supposed to be drinking, you feel me? And they feel good. Now let me let me tell y'all something about these shoes that uh, I heard a lot of people complain about is that this is normally this part right here is normally patent leather, right? But a lot of people don't know is that uh, patent leather used to be made a certain type of way. The technique that used to be used on patent leather was used with linseed oil, but nowadays it's basically just plastic. Like plastic? Like seriously? I ain't never felt no luxurious plastic, you feel me? Like most luxurious plastic I ever felt was probably Legos or something. And honestly y'all, like this right here, this feels luxurious to me if you ask me. Like patent leather ain't gonna never feel like the real thing. Does this feel real good? I mean, it's still smooth. It's probably gonna get dirty fast. Real but thing. It's this thing right here, it's, it's that raw material. It, it, it kind of feel real soft, like um, baby cow's ass. You know? Like that's what it feel like. It made you look just some soft ass little baby cow ass. There you go. I like that right there. So above the leather, we got this mesh material, and we got these these thick shoelaces right here. They're, the shoelaces are actually white. I guess it's okay. I would have preferred red shoelaces or something to really throw off these red accents on the edges right here. Also, this Jordan accent is also in red. It's embroidered, so you don't have to worry about that. That's quality right there. And then we have another Jordan badge right here on the tongue. As you can see, I'm not quite sure what it says. I don't care. It looks nice. You feel me? And then on the back here in red, we have the number 23 on this soft black material that goes into the inner part of the shoe. All right, y'all, before we get to the inside of the shoe, there's one thing that I really want to point out, and that's this shoe insert Jordan put in there. You talking about it's quality, because it's all plastic. Man, I can't even get this shit out of That's some goddamn quality right there. All right, y'all, I finally got it out, and this is the shoe insert that I wanted to show y'all. It's all red, and it has the Jordan symbol right there in the middle, and it's it's pretty hard. It's pretty solid. Like, it, it wouldn't even bend when I was trying to take it out of the shoe. You know what I mean? So that's a good thing. It'll really keep the form of the toe and everything from creasing, especially when you got them sitting around in the box or in the shoe containers if you if you ball them like that. I ain't got no shoe containers. I had a, I had a Walmart bag once though, I ain't gonna lie, it was a nice bag. Besides that, there's a gold jump man right on the inside of the shoe right there. And I like that gold jump man, it looks good. I'm not sure if you can see it or not, I tried to zoom in on it. So that's pretty much the shoe y'all.